Got the glass going on, the orange nice glow, yes. And uh, you know what? We have a, quite a bit of orange on the map here when we talk about our temperatures Ooh, with those uh, temperatures set to rise back eventually into the upper 80s and lower 90s for the day today. 79 degrees, feeling like 83 degrees at the moment. Those dew points up there in the middle 70s. We're feeling humid yet again, as we typically do, of course, for the start of the summertime season. Right now, we're currently dry, though. We do have some rain that's been tracking in across the west coast right now. You can see that uh, rain pushing through portions of Collier County at the moment. That's what's eventually going to be heading our way. That direction from southwest to northeast is eventually going to be bringing some of the showers and storms into our area that will be getting to develop as a track across the east coast as we head towards this afternoon. So another dry start to the day. Stormier afternoon ahead just as we saw yesterday. The storms will be hit or miss. Not all of us seeing rain or thunderstorms, but those areas that do may experience some heavy downpour today and perhaps even some gustier winds. We'll be tracking a front actually hanging across the far northern portion of the state beginning Monday into Tuesday. That will allow that moisture increase a little bit more as it pools up along it. So expect a higher chance for some showers and storms for at least the start of the week, but then some changes ahead. Notice for Monday, Tuesday, we have about that 50% chance of seeing some showers and storms before those chances actually start to dwindle heading into Wednesday and Thursday, courtesy of an area of high pressure sure that's also going to be bringing the heat as we get into the later portion of this upcoming work week. As for the day today, we're dry through the lunchtime hour. Showers and storms begin to kick off by one o'clock. They'll be encouraged to push towards our coastal zone. So heads up, we will be looking at some heavy downpours, certainly lightning, especially between the hours of two, five o'clock across both coastal Broward and Miami-Dade County, winding down as we head towards after about 8 p.m. And that'll leave us a little bit drier overnight before we see the return of additional showers and storms for your Monday. Check across the uh, tropics. We are still quiet with no new systems expected for at least the next seven days across the Gulf, the Atlantic, and this is that time of year where we just tend to have lower activities. St uh, statistically speaking, one of the reasons why is this is also the time of year that we start to track plumes of Saharan dust. We are in fact tracking one that's now beginning to enter into the far eastern Atlantic rolling off the coast of Africa. That's what helps suppress tropical activity. We actually may see a little bit of this reach our area by this upcoming weekend. So that's something that we'll be tracking here as we into the next several days. Speaking of next seven days here, 91 degrees today, tomorrow, that increasing chance for showers and storms for your Monday, Tuesday, high pressure builds Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, lowering our rain chances and bringing those temperatures up with highs back to 93 degrees by Thursday.